too many people are looking for different ways because they have imagine i'm giving you just i'm listing just 10 scams 10 types of scams but there are over a hundred different types though these 10 are just the main ones okay there are over 100 and people are still thinking of more or different ways to scam people or scam individuals so it depends on on how knowledgeable you are or how popular this past class scam is there are so many other scams even i do not know there are some that are coming out newly okay so but as time goes on we just hope no one falls for it and then it is discovered before someone falls victim to a particular scam so pause before you continue watching the video please if you're not subscribed click on the subscribe button below and also click on the like button to get more updates from us when we upload and so the first one is the e-commerce or card fraud or scam so this one the way it works is that you can get a phishing email what if you don't know what a phishing email is there's there's a link in the description below you know what a phishing email is and how to note or how to detect a phishing email and so you can send you an email that looks to be from your bank or from an organization that you know and or you're affiliated to and then they start requesting for information of your of your or your bank information saying that you need this or let your account to be closed that you need to drop certain information for for an upgrade or different type of um, information that is requiring your personal info so once you see this kind of information you need to be careful do not it is not from the real the bank and the bank will never ask for such details so be careful so many people are falling for this past class scam just in 2019 alone over 40 percent of people fell for this scam according to um statistics over 40 percent of people fell for this particular type of scam to show you how potent it is even though it's something that has been existing since and people have been aware of it some people are still not aware of it so you need to be aware of this your bank will never ask you for any personal information they will not ask you for bvn they will not ask you for um your username or your login your bank app login details they'll never ask you for any details relating to your even your atm card they can't ask you for any details as such so be careful if you receive any information that you're not sure or if you receive any information from a source you are not sure of or you don't know take it to if it's the bank take it to the bank to confirm if it's if it's another organization make sure you confirm that it's from a legit source don't rush to give out certain personal information no matter how legit it seems so the second type of scam is called the wonder bank or ponzi scheme okay so ponzi, i'm sure you know what ponzi schemes are by now if you don't know what ponzi schemes are there are so many ponzi schemes that have existed in the past and what this ponzi scheme does or the way it works is that you get you it's like a business of um, multiplying your money so you get to recruit some people maybe 10 people and then then they get to recruit another 10 like that and so that way if you get to recruit 10 people your money keeps like um, going up appreciated so if you get one person that person pays like assuming you assuming you pay 5k to start the next person bring pays 5k the next person pays 5k like that until so everything keeps adding to your own money so that's how it, it, it that's how it's going to work for the many people so you have to get someone that is ready to put in the money to 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 increase his own money so in the case where you you don't see someone to do that you, you lose your money you get to lose your money and in some cases even when you pay the money to most of these people they end up running away with your money when they've got seen what they want they're going to rush for quick money it's not advisable you do or engage in Ponzi schemes. You will know a Ponzi scheme when you see what they offer. Okay. Third one is um, the dating scam. Okay, so this one is when online dating platforms you see individuals saying, um, you see individuals saying, okay, I like you, do this, that, this, and then um, I need certain money to be able to do this, do that, like certain so many flimsy excuses. So. Don't fall for it. There's nothing like be careful of on this online dating. Don't send money to anybody. If you are sending money to someone that you feel you like or you want to get to meet, make sure you can see the person via video um, video call. Okay, so make sure there's a video call and make sure you record that video call so that in case of any scam or anything, you can always trace the person back. Okay, so make sure you do it. don't look at pictures because anybody could use a picture of another person to impersonate that 
I'm this person. Meanwhile, you're talking with the wrong person. The person could be say the person could say he's in um, United States, but the person could be in India. The person could say he's in India, but it could be in Nigeria. So you need to be careful. There's, I, I, it's, it's, it's very possible to find love on the internet or in other dating sites, but you need to be careful. Don't send your money to someone you don't know. Don't give any of your card details or information to someone you don't know because you, uh, just for the sake of you like the person or you feel you can go far with the person. So be careful of that. Over 50% of people have been scammed using this method in the United States and in the UK alone. So that's just for those two countries alone. So be careful of that. It could be dangerous if you are not aware of that. So be careful. You could get scammed using that means and it's very, very potent. Most people still use it. Though most people are careful now, but the success rate of this scam is very, very high as, as you've seen in the past and the statistics I just give you. So the fourth one, the fourth one, employment scam. So this one is very, it's, it's not as it's not as popular as the other three I've mentioned and it's, it's not as potent as the other three but it could be very dangerous and it could be very potent if for, for especially for countries where most people are searching for jobs like in a country like Nigeria and and some African countries where the, um, the job opportunities are low or there's, there's massive unemployment so you could receive uh, uh, an, an employment message via SMS or mail saying you have been invited for an interview. Possibly you didn't, even, you, know, you didn't apply for for the job, and and they said something like, um, you need to pay such certain amount to pass through this stage. That when you do this, you move to the next stage. So that and it is for the registration form, and there's no such thing as a registration form for interview. The registration is just an application form, and there's usually no money for an application form. Either you send your CV, CV and the related or requested information. And be careful not to send any personal information. So make sure if you see a job a, a job posting, make sure you research about the company. Check for the company. You check if the company has a website. Google it. Check for the info relating to that company. Just don't just rush and then you are giving out information in a in a form. The common way of getting very um, most people's information is using Google Forms. People have found a way to get um, very important information from people using Google Forms. So be careful. We said the company that is posting the the uh, the employment offer, okay, and don't pay any they don't pay anybody any money for any employment. This thing there's no such thing as that. You don't pay, don't pay money to get employed, okay. So you need to be careful about that. It's not that potent, but it can be potent at some time. So the fifth one, the identity theft or phishing scam. In this way, it's the way this one. The only way this one can happen is if. Maybe a family friend of yours has been scammed or his details have been collected either through key loggers or a person has been fished and certain information has been gotten through the person and then they've stolen the person's identity in a way that they can contact his or they can contact his relations or get his contact list, get access to his contact list. So in a way, for example, for WhatsApp where um, someone has been, someone's account has been hacked, they can then have access to other, con other people in the contact list. And then they can now send you an inf um, a message saying, please, I need urgent help. I'm stranded at so so um, a particular place, or I need money for this, uh, maybe ten thousand dollars, or okay, that's quite ridiculous. I need about hundred dollars for hundred naira for a particular thing, and I need it urgently. Please, can you help? And so you innocently thinking is from the person because the person's account has been hacked, or the person's identity has been stolen. You go ahead and give the person the money it's you and then later you find out that you've been scammed so in cases like that where you don't know that the person's account has been compromised or the person's identity has been stolen once you get such a request if the request is not something that is usual you know someone that does not all of a sudden come and start asking you for money for hospital bills or money for a certain thing you 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 have to be you have to get suspicious in a way ask the person questions that you are sure that the person is supposed to know then make sure you prove or try to know if it is truly the person that is that is sending that information and not um a, a, an imposter so ask questions that you think that your friend is supposed to know so be, this is how this happens this has in 2019 in 2019 alone i think the whatsapp the whatsapp hijacking was was the headline throughout 2019 so it's very popular throughout 2019 and it has been used to to scam too many people on different contacts so be careful of that it is 
a very and even in 2020 if nothing is done it's it still keeps entering into it keeps moving on so it's it will still happen to so many people even if there's something done it will still happen to so many people so be careful of of that particular scam okay the identity theft for phishing scam be careful of it it is potent also and it works it, the success rate is high so be careful so the sixth one is the one they call the charity scam so the charity scam is, is people you see people um claiming to be from this non-governmental um, non this ngo um, non-governmental this ngo that seek funds for people that are disabled blah 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 you get so many they get so many information out and then they're trying to get money and this money they're trying to get is for themselves and not for any organization of any sort and so most mostly on it you, you see this type of scams happening on facebook to most users on facebook because it's on facebook that the 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 statistics show that facebook is the platform where this particular scam is very rampant and has worked so far in 2019 so many people have been scammed that way so the the what they do is that they collect images on google or images from someone who is sick or in the hospital that needs help with medical bills and then they're like they, they start they're like okay um help this person this this is my brother so the so person needs help this is the account number everything there anything you can give will be helpful blah 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 so much information and you and then they start saying something like then they bring they bring religion into this issue so they are like please um from help us this 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 help us then they put religion in a way you might be touched to to give or to help so but this is this this particular scam is very tricky because if if you hadn't had in your um i don't want to say if you had in your your mind to not listening to any of anything saying about donation to someone with ill or you might actually not be helping the people that need the help but there's a way you can do it always confirm the person putting out the information get proper details even if you can if you can see the person face to face if if you know you want to donate from your heart see the person face to face if you can if you have time visit the person that is sick and then make sure this information is sure don't just well, don't just um assume okay because the person has pictures like this and then person is even standing near the person if that is a legit photoshop could do the trick so if you can see the person standing here this sick person does not mean the person or they even know each other so it could be photoshop or any all these all these software they can easily be used to craft such so you need to be careful when you are in terms of giving charity so many people are falling for this charity scam so be careful always ask questions to make sure the person is legit do background checks if possible visit the person that they are seeing that is sick and then know get the information from the doctor or the person that requires the money or the funding for the bills whatever it is so the seventh one which is the scholarship scam okay so you might as well this one has occurred to mainly those in african countries and those looking for scholarship abroad okay so they are in, in europe in just basically those looking for scholarship let me not um, um pin it to a specific um country or continent but those looking for scholarship and then they are like you see a scholarship where they see yeah there's a where they see there's a scholarship to this country to study this particular course all you need to do is then there is a condition there and they tell you all you need to do is to bring certain amounts for processing fee to process your visa and then when you pay this particular processing fee you get you get the scholarship there's nothing like that please be careful okay so like I said, there's a way they can do it. If they say, for example, Harvard is uh, Harvard is giving a scholarship for 100 black students, or let me not use black students, so that's not 100 African students. Okay, let me use it that way. So Harvard is giving scholarship to 100 black. So many people will rush for this opportunity, and so if the particular person doing this scam or social engineering is smart enough, what the person will do is that the person will reduce the price. Because when the price is reduced, price for the so-called processing fee, when the price is reduced, so many people rush at it. But if the price is quite high, only a handful will go. And why some people will become suspicious that is this is this really true? So they might put the the price to the bare, barest minimum, and everyone is rushing to to pay and then to get processing fee. Because I mean, who does who does not want to go to Harvard? But so you, because you are desperate, does not mean you should not be open or you should not reason. 
let's try to put it like that but you need to be careful because this this has happened this particular scam has gotten so many people do i can't give you a particular statistics because um i i didn't see one it was it was not um yet recorded though they just said many people are so like, from research okay there was no specific um number compared to like the other scams where i gave you um, a particular statistics so this one i can't really give you statistics but so many people have been scammed using this means so you need to be careful number eight on the list is the visa scam so this one happens mainly to um, nigerians or should i say africans when they know that most of them might be desperate to go abroad maybe to united states or the uk or to other parts of the country other parts of the world they send them um, a message they tell them this they either give them a call or send them a message that um they can help them process their visa that at the, at the moment is at this price that there's like a promo and that if they pay certain amounts they can kick start the, the the process the whole process and then before they know it they are in um, they are in so, so places either canada united states of, of america that they don't need to follow the normal process of stress and then they, that that would, normal process is even expensive so they tell you they can do it in a cheaper and less stressful way please you need to be careful about that there's no there's nothing as less stressful way follow the normal protocols to 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 an emigration to leave the country don't follow a crooked means because you want to leave the country okay it's you most people i'm about about 20 percent or about 20 percent of nigerians have been scammed using this means and they've lost their money a whole lot a whole large sum if you if you if you put it together the amount of people that have been scammed using this means nigerians africans well, i'm saying nigerians but i mean nigeria at the moment so nigerians and some other africans have been scammed using this this method there's something i want to quickly chip in before moving to the ninth type of scam so i i get to see comments and on so many other channels or so many other platforms when there's when there's a discussion about scam when someone is scammed you see someone saying this person foolish how can this person fall for this type of scam that uh, it's very it's very basic is this is that anyone can fall for a scam it just depends on who is doing it there's someone that there are some people that basically they, they don't know how to scam they don't know how to perform good social engineering tricks they, they are just so those ones that can't perform it can easily cut them or those that or you if you are, if you think if you think this scam is um, is, is something that someone should someone smart someone smart shouldn't have fallen for if you think that it, it's because you know about the scam or it's because they, they've not brought a new type of scam that you will fall for so there are different people are thinking of different ideas to scam people so you need to be careful don't blame anyone that has been scammed instead let them be aware of this that's why this channel we try to do it we do our best to upload good content that will help you help friends family everyone to stay safe so the ninth one the emergency scam so this particular one the way it is done is that you can get the call as mean you are in a country like as mean i'm in nigeria or i'm i'm in any other country but i'm using my country as an example and you are in the united states i get a call perhaps someone from nigeria calls um you okay you're a nigerian in the united states or and then you have relations here in nigeria and then someone gives you a call and it's like hello um your this, your brother or your sister or your cousin was in an accident and the person needs help the person is um, this particular amount sent to this account or the person will die the person the person really needs it uh, please don't there's no need to panic because once you panic you can make stupid decisions like really stupid decisions that you will regret later so the first thing you do since the so-called person is in an accident or has certain issues maybe the person needs an operation it is not wise to call the person what you should do is to call the people close to the person the, perhaps the, the mother or the father or someone that you know knows about this person's whereabouts to confirm if that if the info that the person was giving you is true if the person was even actually involved in an accident or if the person needs certain amount to make sure you call don't just make one or two calls don't just make one call because the, the, the likely person that you, you might want to call the phone might have been tapped so if they know you call the mother next maybe the person has only a mother and, and they know you call the mother so they might have tapped the person's phone so call another person call one or two call like three people to 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 know 
call like two or three people to really find them, to really get the, the right information to know if it is legit before taking action. Don't just rush to take action. Most emergency scams are they prey on your your innocence, they prey on your on your naivety and then so many other things. So they they they, they put that pressure on you and once you, you are in a hurry to okay help or to solve the situation you end up getting scammed okay so you need to be careful of that particular one that emergency scam is is very rare it does not really happen like that but it happens so but i just wanted to put that in there so that no matter any way any way the scam is coming in you will know what it is and you'll be able to prevent it the tenth one which is a tech support scam okay so you might get a call you might receive a call that um you, your laptop has been or your your mobile phone has been infected with a particular virus that they will help you go around, uh, they will help you try to remove it that if you don't remove it it's going to affect your documents your files and everything at that moment that's where the whole scam starts and if you're not careful if you give them details or you might even send money to them because most likely they request for money to go ahead and do the whole processing and then removing they, they'll just give you the they'll just they're always very vague about it they'll tell you click on this check is it like this? so they might have performed the reconnaissance you will know if you if you're techy so if you're not they'll tell you um click on this particular thing on your laptop or on your phone is it doing like this does it have this issue is it lagging is your laptop not fast enough then when you ask, if you answer yes and so on they'll say do add they'll ask you to add pop up on your system and stuff like that on your phone if you say yes because add, i mean where don't ads pop up if you visit the website mostly you see ads but if you're not aware then you say yes and then they tell you your, your your phone or your laptop has been affected with virus that they can help you clear it and then that's where the whole scamming process starts you get to pay them you get to send social money you get to give them even some details that you're not supposed to give them so you need to be careful about this particular scam so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was quite long but i'm sure it was worth it if you watched it to this point if you watched it to the end check in the title description below we are going to, i'm going to list about 20 different types of scam follow them um, according according to the way I, I said this in the video so i'll first list the 10 that i said then the other remaining 10 which i i could not add to the video because i didn't have some stats to back those ones up so i'll just list them so that you there are over 100 like i said i'll list 20 so that if you see this type of scam you'll be aware of it okay so if you want more if you want me to talk about the last 10 just drop a comment below and then let me know how you feel about this video so stay safe remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button below and also the notification bell icon click on it you go to all tap on all and then give us a like by clicking the like button just below your screen so thank you and stay safe hey don't forget to share this video it's very important so many people need to see this it's not just you because if you end up watching the video alone and then your friend or your relation is scammed I mean, it's, it's, it affects you in a way, so share this video.